Hey guys, welcome back. To start off this look, I am priming my face with Smashbox Primer Water. And then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer just to moisturize and prepare my skin. Also, since it was early in the morning, I just used some Origins Refreshing Ginseng Eye Cream. Now I'm going in with my trusted Estee Lauder Double Wear. I wear shade 1 and 2 Ecru. And I'm just dabbing that all over my face and blending it out with a beauty blender. To hide any blemishes, I'm going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. And then I'll also be using that same concealer, just in a different shade to highlight. And I am using shade NW15 underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead too. And then I'll be blending that out with a damp beauty blender as well. I'm going to set my concealer and my eyes with Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. Now I just do it on my eyelids to make my eyeshadows blend easier. There's no other reason I do it, but I'm just putting that all over the areas that we concealed and to set my whole face, I am using Clinique's Translucent Loose Powder and I just love the powder. It's super easy and it makes your skin kind of look airbrushed. So I went in and I did my brows and now I am contouring and I am using the shade light palette again. I only use the two shades on the left. I do not mess with the darker shade. Now I'm just going to blend it out. It looks kind of crazy here but I'm blending it. Don't worry. <music> to start off the eye, I am taking Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream on just a diffused crease brush from Sigma and I'm just going to deepen the shade. I always start out with a light brown transition shade unless I'm doing a huge bold colorful look but usually I always start out with a brown because it's just what I like and I feel like it works for every combination you could possibly come up with unless you're doing like cool tones. Now I'm going in with Unexpected and it's just a really purple gray shade. Now since I'm going to be doing wing liner, I'm kind of extending the outer part of my eye to prepare for that wing. To deepen it up, I am using Makeup Geek shade in Bidden and I am using a pencil brush to just concentrate this color right there in the crease. We're not doing a cut crease for this look, but I did want to make that color a little bit more extreme so it's just super pretty when you look down or anything like that. So I'm just blending that out with a, uh, that's just a brush from Sigma. And then I'm going back in with the pencil brush to deepen it, blend it out, deepen it. And now I'm just using Fresh and it's a white shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills for the lid and Kat Von D Trooper Liner to finish it off. Applying some mascara. I'm using Dior Iconic Over Curl. It's my favorite mascara. And then I just popped on some Coco Lashes. I will have the exact name listed in the description bar. To finish off the lower lash line, I didn't want to do something too much, so I just ran bitten underneath there. And now I'm tightlining my eyes with a black gel liner and putting mascara on my lower lashes. To get a really pretty glow going on, I am using Milani Luminoso, which is a beautiful orange apricot blush that does have some natural sheen in there. So it's super pretty and super bright. And then to highlight, I am using Estee Lauder Heat Wave. So I'm putting it on the high points of my cheekbone, and then I'm also dragging it a little bit above my eyeshadow to catch the light. <laughs> For 
my bright lip combination, I'm using NARS Velvet Lip Liner in Costa Smeralda. It's this really hot pink that I'm in love with. And then to top it off, I'm just going to use Maybelline 075 Fuchsia Flourish. And it is one of the small color elixirs. It's super glossy, super juicy, and it just looks really plump and fun. And I'm just in love with this whole look. I think it just came out so flirty and cute. And it's like definitely like a girl's kind of look. Your man probably won't think it's sexy or anything like that, but I think it's really fun and cute and who cares what he thinks anyways. So that finishes off this look. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.